talking about the worksheets I have given you, the real simple plate, solution 100 problems, all 100 problems, each and every problem I have solved. But okay, so but that itself is not sufficient. You need to practice as many times as possible. But and especially whatever the problems which are very, very simple, leave them. Okay, because that's a, you must have some awareness and idea. Okay, and whatever the typical problems are there which made you think. But again, so those problems you should be very careful. Understood? Okay, so once again, those problems you list out, you just mark the problems which are of higher standard. So in module wise, in module one, so what are the problems which are of higher standard? So you just mark them and try to practice as many times as possible. But again, now I will be taking that the continuation of that topic that is electrostatics. But again, so with that worksheet, so electrostatics is not over. There is only just 25 percent. The remaining 75 percent is there. So what is that? Electrostatic potential. Okay. Next, the capacitors and the gauss law. These are the three things. So 25 percent we have done. So that is electric forces and electric field. Now, the remaining 25 percent is electrostatic potential and potential energy. The remaining 25 percent is gauss law and its applications. Last 25 percent can be taken up as some capacitors. But it, so like that, the summation of all these topics, if at all you take, then it becomes a electrostatics, a complete electrostatics. Complete electrostatics. But it, okay, now that's, that's a, all of it is open your notebooks. Okay, the continuation we have rights. Okay, so while solving the problems in the neat level and in the case, in the case level, what kind of formulae equations that we are going to use? All the things we must have your thorough idea. And you can find this. But it, so keep the heading that is electrostatic potential. Now, so this is what electrostatic potential. Electrostatic potential. This is the topic that you are going to handle. With. Electrostatic potential. <coughs> okay, so what do you mean by potential? This is what we have to find. So, what are the equations related with this concept that is potential? In the previous session, I explained one thing very clearly about the concept of electric field. Electric field in the sense of electric field. See, electric field means what? What do you mean? Uh, so mean by electric field? Electric field in the sense of suppose we cannot make one positive charge. There will be some region which gets affected by this positive charge. Okay, the region in the space till where the influence of this electric charge spreads that can be taken as an electric field. Otherwise, like this also we can take. What is that? The space, okay, so in so here, so which is in which energy is remodified by means of this electrical influence that can be taken as electric field. Okay, so for a positive charge, electric field is radially upward. You listen also you know very well, even in the previous worksheet, you know the problems wherever we connect as came across, we have been using this, right? And if at all you take a negative charge, even for negative charge, there will be some field over here like this. This is the electric field. But what is the main difference between the electric fields due to a positive charge and negative charge? In the case of negative charge, all electric lines, of course, are radially inward. Radial inward means the like this electric field lens will be. Okay, now in the definition itself, we have seen one thing. What is that? The electrical influence spreads. Okay, so if at all you go very close to the charge, it's okay, our common, okay, that's a common sense. What is that? If at all you move very close to the charge, electrical influence will be more. If at all you move away from the charge, Electrical influence will be decreasing. But again, okay. Now, what I do is in this electrical influence, I will be taking one point at a particular distance. Okay, so this is the charge which is in the point O, and this is the point I have taken P. Now, what I have to do is I will be taking one unit positive charge. That unit positive charge I will be introducing. Towards this point, a particular point. But it, unit positive charge always in the complete electricity, we will be taking that this concept that is unit positive charge only. Remember, 
unit positive charge only we will be taking up. Unit positive charge only we will be taking up. Okay, so unit positive charge we have to take. Unit positive charge we have to take. But uh, taking exactly unit positive charge means the plus one coulomb of charge is not possible. You know why? Plus one coulomb of charge means 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 number of electrons by counting we have to Practically, that's not possible. That's why test positive charge we will take. So we will be taking one test positive charge. We will be just taking one test positive charge over here. Test positive charge we will be taking. Test positive charge we will be taking. Right? Now that test positive charge I need to introduce over here. But that is not so easy. I need to introduce, I need to keep that test positive charge over here. At this point P, but that is not so easy. Do you know why? This charge will be repelling that. Okay, so this is the charge that is Q. Usually, the test possible charge of Q naught we will be representing. Okay, so this test possible charge we need to introduce into the field from outside the field. Okay, so here outside the field. Outside the field, I am telling you, I outside the field. This outside the field, field is nothing but infinity. Infinity means uh, that is something which cannot be described. Don't take the, the meaning of infinity means uh, that is somewhere just out of the field. Okay, any point you take which is out of the field can be taken as infinity. Right from infinity. This is the best possible charge you need to introduce at this point. Got it? So this will be repelling. Okay, so you are introducing the positive charge at a particular point of this positively charged electric field. Okay, so for that you need to overcome the electric repulsive force. For that you need to apply some force. For that you will be doing some work. The amount of work done in introducing this test positive charge or unit positive charge towards a particular point of the electric field can be taken as a electric potential. Electric potential. So, by means of this, what can you conclude? Electric potential means that is the amount of work done in introducing a unit positive charge towards a particular point of the electric field from infinity from infinity, so you need to introduce a test positive charge, preferably unit positive charge. For that, how much amount of work is done? That is called electrostatic potential. That is called electrostatic potential. Come on, come on, please make a lot of it. And what about the things I am writing on the board? You have to listen to me, you have to look at the board, uh, the board and your hand has to keep ready. All the activities have to take place simultaneously. All the activities that have to take place simultaneously. Okay. See, here in this particular case, I will be writing the definition of here for electrostatic potential. That is the amount of work done. That is the amount of work done in moving. Amount of work done in moving. A unit positive charge. A unit positive charge from infinity from infinity to a particular point to a particular point of the field. Electric field is defined as defined as electrostatic potential. That means defined as electrostatic potential. Electrostatic potential. That is defined as electrostatic potential. Okay. So what is the equation form that you are going to give? Electrostatic potential there is V. Amount of work then per unit positive charge that is Q much. So this is uh, the equation that you are going to. Be. V is equal to 
W by Q naught. V is equal to W by Q naught. This is a mathematical representation of this electrostatic potential. This is the mathematical representation of the electrostatic potential. Right. Okay, coming to units and the dimensional formula for this. How do you write units? Units. So, what are the units? W is measured in terms of two in the SI system. Okay, Q naught, that is the charge. The SI unit is Coulomb. Joule per Coulomb. So, there is a SI unit. Okay, so one Joule per Coulomb is given a name in SI system that is Volt. The symbol is a capital V. The symbol is a capital V. But it, so this is the yes unit of potential. This is the yes unit of potential. But it, now, what is the dimensional formula? What is the dimensional formula? Dimensional formula of this electrostatic potential. See, Q, Q, that is electric charge. Electric charge is another fundamental quantity. Okay, so from electric current definition, we can get this. So this is a Q by V, electric current. Therefore, amount of charge can be written as I into T. I stands for electric current, which is a fundamental quantity. T is a time, which is also a fundamental quantity. Right? Now, electrostatic potential V is equal to amount of work done divided by charge. That is a Q naught. Now, what is the dimensional formula? Dimensional formula for this work done. So that is M, L square P power minus P power. Okay, divided by, so current dimensional formula A into time dimensional formula that is P. Right? See, this is M, L square P power minus 3, A power minus 1. So this is what the dimensional formula for electrostatic potential. M, L square, T power minus 3, T power, A power minus 1. That means, what do you mean by this? In electrostatic potential, mass dimension is 1, length dimension is 2, time dimension is minus 3, electric current dimension is minus 1, electric current dimension is minus 1. So, that's what dimensions. But it, okay, sometimes you need examination, you will come across some theoretical questions. Okay, so the theoretical question can be asked like this. What is the time dimension in electrostatic potential? You need not get confused. Immediately you have to go for it's a dimensional formula. The dimensional formula says that M L square P power minus 3 A power minus 1. So P power minus 3. Minus 3 is the dimension. Minus 3 is the dimension. Okay, of time in potential. Like this. But it, so when you read one concept this much comprehensively by touching all formulas, you have to read. Understood? Right. Okay. So this is something about electric. This is a electrostatic potential. Electrostatic potential. Okay. Now potential difference. The next concept is potential difference. What do you mean by potential difference? <coughs> so this is what we have to now. What do you mean by potential difference? Okay, so potential difference. Potential difference. Potential difference. Okay, so what do you mean the potential difference concept? The concept of potential difference is look at this. I will be taking the metallic rod. Match. This is neutral metallic rod. Neutral metallic rod. But it, so neutral metallic rod means there is no charge present on them as of now. Now I would like to have the charges. For that, I need to apply uh, the process of electrification. One of the suitable processes of electrification. So what do you mean by electrification? Electrification is a process by means of which the electric charge is obtained from a neutral body. From a neutral body, electric charges are obtained. So, this morning I was telling you, okay, so what is that? There are three processes. One is electrification by 
friction, electrification by conduction, electrification by induction. By means of one of the processes, you can electrify the neutral bodies. That means you can get the charges from the neutral bodies by using one of the methods. Okay, one of the suitable methods I am using over here, and I will be getting the charges. You need to understand the internal mechanism which happens during this electrification. During this electrification, what happens? See, if you want to take each and every atom present in this metallic rod. Okay, so inside the atom, positive charges will be there and negative charges will be there. But positive charges are there in the internal core, which is the nucleus. At the beginning of this electrostatics, one thing I told, what is that? In the complete electricity, protons never interfere. Protons never participate. The complete defect is due to electrons. The complete the defect is due to electrons. Okay, either by removal of electrons or by addition of electrons, we will be getting the charges. In that way, what happens? Sir? Negative charges are possible here. Now, electrons are coming out. Okay, those electrons will be grouped. Many people will be thinking that negative charge is because of negatively charged particles, electrons. And positive charge is because of positively charged particles, protons. Some people will be thinking, no, that is wrong. Even the formation of a positive charge also is because of electrons. That's fine. So, in this particular case, what happens uh, during the electrification? Okay, so that one and uh, number of electrons will be less, and the other end, the number of electrons will be more. Okay, so look at this only one electron is uh, transferred, therefore, so 99 electrons are there, one electron is over. That's fine. Okay, so because of this one electron, very less number of electrons. So, due to this less number of electrons, this particular end will be having positive charge. This is treated as positive charge. And because of more number of electrons, this particular end is treated as negative charge. And what is the number of difference over here? 99 and 1. And before all, you connect these two ends by means of any metallic conductor, immediately electrons will start jumping, electrons will be running. Yes or no? Because the number difference is more. Whatever the number difference that you come across over here, that can be taken as a potential difference. I will tell you one practical example. Okay, so here you see, I will take one vessel over here. I will take one vessel over here. Just that it's one centimeter or two centimeters. I will take water over here. The moment that I okay, release water, what will flow? How will water flow? With what speed water flow? Here, see, this is one surface, this is one more surface. Okay, so the difference of the heights is very less. Then water will flow. How will the water flow? The water flow will be slowly because the height difference is very less. I will be taking one vessel on the terrace. I will be taking one more vessel on the ground. Now I will use the water. Now you tell us how the water flows. Water will be rushing out like anything with a greater speed. Because height difference is more. Okay, so when the height difference is more, what happens? Sir? The speed with which water is rushing out will be less, that's maximum. The impact is more. Am I correct? When the height difference is very less, in this case also water will flow. How will the water flow? Slowly. Potential difference means height difference, just like. Are you getting my point? Here, number difference makes the electrons flow. Here, height difference makes the liquid flow. More the height difference is. Okay, so larger the velocity will be for water. Larger the kinetic energy water exhibits. Larger the potential energy, okay, water will be having. But it, that's why, okay, so if at all you want to supply water to the complete Shiburga or whatever it may be, there will be some overhead tanks. Those overhead tanks will not be like the overhead tanks that we are using on the terrace. The overhead tanks will be, okay, that's a very high, large overhead tanks. 
and all the remaining things will be lower to that. The height difference has to be. Then the moment they release water, water will be rushing with a greater speed to each and every house of that area. Are you getting my point? So just like potential difference, here also like this. Okay, so gas, this, electrons keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing. Okay, so here you see, say, this is 19 electrons and here 10 electrons. What's happening? Number of difference is decreasing. Here, 80 electrons, here 20 electrons. What's happening? Number of difference is decreasing. Here, 70 electrons remained, 30 electrons came here. Here, 60 electrons and here, so 40 electrons. Here, so this is 55 electrons, 45 electrons. Okay, so what's happening over here? What's happening? The number of difference is decreasing. What the point? Now, look at this, 55 electrons are here, 45 electrons are here. Now, if you want to take one electron, so observe the motion of this electron. Okay, the electron is moving from this negative end to positive end. Okay, so observe the motion of this electron. Observe the motion of the electron in the beginning. Well, 99 electrons and one electron is there. So the electron is moving in this direction. Now, what difference do you find in between the two motions of the electrons over here? Speed. Here, the electronic motion is very vigorous. Within no time, the electron will be reaching the same. But in this case, with that much speed, the electron will not. Because the number of is very less. And moreover, by this time, 45 electrons are already came. What do these 45 electrons do? These 45 electrons will start repelling the newly coming electron. The newly coming electron is opposed by these 45 electrons. In that way, even if this electron wants to sit over here, that is not so easy task. It will, so it has to do some work. Against the force of repulsion of these 45 electrons. Whatever that work done can be taken as potential difference. Whatever that work done is taken as potential difference. Okay, the electrons keep on flowing, keep on flowing. At a certain time, at a certain stage, here 50 electrons, here 50 electrons. Imagine. Then what happens? Electron flow stops. Equilibrium. The electron flow stops, means no electronic movements. That means what do you say? The potential difference in the two ends will become zero. The potential difference between the two ends will be zero. Are you getting my point? Yes, I know. So this is called potential difference concept. That means if you don't any two points are given to you, let this be one point A and this is the other point B over here. But it, so whenever this type of number variation that you see in between the two points, A will be at a particular potential that is A, and B will be at another potential that is B, that is BB. Okay, so here BA and BB, if both things are equal, there will be no potential difference, no electric flow exists. But it, okay, so this here in this particular case, BA may be more than BB. Uh, BB may be more than BA. Anything may happen based on the conditions that are applied in the system. Very good. Okay, so this is put on BA is more than BB. So what do you say? Point A is said to be higher potential, point B is said to be lower potential. By chance, if you connect both the things, the electrons will be flowing from which point to which point? B to A. B to A, higher potential point means positive force. Lower potential point means negative force. Number of electrons may be more. Even then, according to sign convention, okay, so here, higher potential means positive force. Lower potential means negative force. Okay, we have just seen over here. So whenever you connect these two points by means of a conductor, we have seen that the electrons will be flowing from negative to positive. The electrons motion is always from negative to positive. Means the electrons motion is always from 
lower potential to higher potential. Lower potential to higher potential. But in the next chapter, current electricity, that direction we never take as a current direction. Current direction we take, okay, yes, positive to negative. That means actually from positive to negative, no electronics. Okay, even the electrical circuits, okay, the actual electronic movement is from negative to positive only. Remember, that is non conventional, unconventional direction of the electric current. Okay, so this is here conventionally, what people take is when a negative charge is flowing from negative to positive, yeah, an imaginary positive charge will be moving from positive to negative. That imaginary particle's motion is taken as a electric current direction. That's why in current electricity chapter, in electric circuits, the direction of electric current is taken from positive to negative. But the actual electronic moment will not be from positive to negative. The actual electronic moment will be from negative to positive only. Positive is taken as higher potential point because the affinity of the electrons is more. Positive end is able to attract the electrons more vigorously. That's why higher potential. Its affinity is more. Potential is more. Potential means what? Absorbing the electrons. Okay, so negative pole, if at all you take lower potential, because if at all you introduce any electron to the negative terminal, okay, so it won't easily, okay, absorb the electron, because there is no need, because all the negative charge is there. Not the point? So lower potential, higher potential, that names, those names have come in that way, out of that sense. Got it like this. Okay, so VV is greater than VA. That means the electron motion will take place from a to B. Okay. VA is greater than VB. Means electronic motion takes place from B to A. Try to understand the difference. Now, so potential difference between A to B, how do you write? So this is VB minus VB because VA is larger than VB. VA is larger than VB. Understood? Okay. Now, in this particular case, I told you one thing. So then about the electron wants to reach the higher potential point already there will be some electrons which already have come over there those electrons will be applying the force of repulsion the newly coming electron has to overcome that force of repulsion in doing so that newly coming electron will be doing some work the work done by okay unit positive charge is defined as a Potential difference. Even this potential difference is also defined as the amount of work done in making a particle which is unit positive charge move from higher potential to lower potential. That is called that is called a, that is called the potential difference. Potential difference. Even this potential difference is measured in terms of gold. Gold is the SI unit of this potential difference. Gold is the SI unit of potential difference. Potential difference. Okay. So this is the concept of potential and potential difference. Potential and potential difference. Okay. General definition of this potential and potential difference I have given you. Now, if you don't you take any point charge, how to give the equation for point charge? This is what we have to now. Okay. So, electrostatic potential due to a point charge, potential due to, potential due to a point charge, potential due to a point charge. So, this is what you need to think of over here. Potential due to a point charge. Okay, so look at this, this type of situation I will be taking. So, this is the charge that is due on you. Right. Now, this is a positive charge. Positive charge means uh, so the electric lines of force are radially output. This is a positive charge will be having some electric field. Okay, like this. Three dimensionally, in all the directions, these electric lines of force are spread. These electric lines of force are spread. Okay. Up to here, the electric field spreads. Imagine. Now, what I do is, I will be just taking one particular point of view. 
what is the definition of electrostatic potential? You need to take a unit positive charge. That unit positive charge has to be introduced towards the particular points. For that, there will be some work done. That work done for unit positive charge is defined as a electrostatic potential. Electrostatic potential. Okay. Now, yet once you cannot calculate the work what you do is you will take a small, very small element of it. Okay. So it does around this. Whatever the point you have taken, let this point be okay, P, and this is the particular distance R. Now, what I do is I will be just taking this small element of it. Okay, so this is A and this is B. Now, you will just a test possible charge of Q0, I will take it. This is a test possible charge I need to move from A to B. In this direction, I need to move. This is a test possible charge. What will be the length of AB? Very small. Very, very small. The length of this AB can be taken as a dx. Okay, that dx is very small. Okay, just like a point. Now, this point AB is at a particular distance x from the charge you see. From the charge you see. Okay, now this Q0 test positive charge has to be moved from A to B. In doing so, there will be some elemental work done. Very minute amount of work will be done. The elemental work done in this particular case is DW. Okay, so in this particular case, DW is equal to the electric force applied into the distance dx. Into the distance dx. So the electrostatic force of repulsion is in this direction, but you are moving in the opposite direction. Okay, so angle between the two things, force and the displacement will be equal to 180 degrees. What is the work definition? F into S into cos theta. So cos 90 degrees. Cos 90 degrees. And what is the value of cos 18 minus 1? So BW in this particular case is equal to minus F into dx. Okay, so what is F? Electrostatic force of repulsion. By Coulomb's inverse square law, how do you write that? F1, that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So this is Q and Q naught by R square. R square means that is X square. Into dx. Into dx. Now, in here, so you need to integrate. There is a negative. You need to integrate this equation to get the overall work done. Overall work means from infinity towards that particular point. If you introduce that test positive charge, total work will come. So, for total work, you need to integrate this dw from 0 okay to infinity from okay, from infinity from infinity towards the particular distance that is r from infinity towards the particular distance r so w in this particular is integral minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this is a q q naught by x square into dx from infinity to r Okay, so W in this particular case minus Q, Q naught divided by 4 pi epsilon naught integral 1 by x square into dx from infinity to R. Okay, so W in this particular case, so this is minus Q, Q naught divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, this is minus 1 by x from infinity to R. This minus also will become a dot. Then it becomes plus. Okay, so the, here I will continue. So the total work done is equal to ah, so q q naught by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by x upper limit first, that is 1 by r minus lower limit 1 by infinity. So, look at this, W is equal to Q, Q 
q not by 4 by epsilon not sh. This is 1 by r. That is 1 by r. So whatever q naught that we have over here, q naught I will be shifting this side. Therefore, w by q naught is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught by definition, this is nothing but electrostatic potential. Electrostatic potential 4 pi epsilon naught r. So this is the electrostatic potential due to a point charge. Electrostatic potential due to a point charge. Dw is equal to minus 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q q naught by r. Understand? Come on, come on, please make a note of it. Okay, from this equation, an important result we can come across. I will be showing you <coughs> the relation between the electric intensity and the electrostatic potential. Okay, the relation between electric field and potential. Not over. Over, not over. Can vary again. Some of the things I erase. Huh? Or should I write once again? Yes, hold on. What are you? Boys. Can I hear this? Okay. Right. Now, so from this result, an important result we have to update. So that is the relation between. Relation between the intensity of the electric field and electrostatic potential. Okay, so relation between the intensity of the electric field and the electrostatic potential. The electrostatic and potential. Understood? Okay, so an important relation that so we are going to have out of this. Look at this here, you see. The intensity of the electric field from the previous topics we had an equation. So, what is that? 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by r square. Okay. Okay. So, E is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by r into 1 by r. Okay. Now, what is this? This is nothing but electrostatic potential. So this is potential divided by R. So intensity of the electric field, what is R distance? What is R distance? Out of this, so one more SI unit we will come across for this intensity of the electric field. So what is that? This V is measured in terms of volt. This distance is measured in terms of meter. So volt per meter is another unit. 
In the first chapter, Newton per Coulomb we were using for intensity of electric field. Now, from this potential concept, we came across one more unit, which is SI unit, that is volt per meter. Volt per meter is another unit for intensity of electric field in this way. Okay, so the important result, what I say is V by R. V by R means potential per unit length. Okay, so in this particular case, this is potential per unit length. Potential per unit length. Potential per unit length. So what do we call this potential per unit length? Potential gradient, we say. Potential per unit length, that is known as a potential gradient. Potential gradient. Potential gradient. Understand? Potential gradient. Okay. So potential gradient. Okay. See here. So V is equal to V into R. This equation has to be corrected. How to correct this equation? In this equation, what we do is minus E into R. Minus sign we need to introduce. Of course, what about the equations that we have written so far? In all the previous equations, that minus sign hasn't come. Now you are introducing that minus sign over here. So why do we have to introduce that minus sign over here? Why do we have to introduce? Opposite directions first. Between what and what? Between E and V. What is V? Work them. Okay. So look at this. If I want to take any possible charge over here, right? Electric field will be in this direction. This is the direction of the field. Radially output. Therefore, even electric force also will be in the same direction. Am I correct? Usually, in whatever the direction the electric field is obtained, in the same direction, electrostatic force also will be. Now, in the definition of potential, the electrostatic potential, you will be taking a test positive charge. That test positive charge you are moving. How are you moving that test positive charge over here? Look at this. Test positive charge Q0, you are moving in this direction. Against the field, you are moving. Okay, so the charge is moved, okay, in the opposite direction of the field. That's why negative work will be done. Negative work done per unit charge, that is nothing but the electrostatic potential. Ultimately, this potential and this electric field, both the things are in the opposite directions. Both the things are in the opposite directions. That's why we will be taking negative sign. This negative sign will not come from the previous derivations and other things. Once a negative sign has come, that negative sign has become positive. Okay, when you take integration. Integral 1 by x square minus 1 by x. With that minus, okay, the previous minus has become positive. Not that one. So here, minus sign is not there. Even then, you will be just introducing the minus sign to show the opposite directions of V and D. Okay, so what about the electric field that you have taken? If at all the electric field is uniform, this is okay. And if at all the electric field is fluctuating, usually the electric field is fluctuating means if at all you take any bodies on which charge distribution takes place. When the charge spreads uniformly, in such cases, what happens? The field may not be uniform. At some places, field intensity will be more. Yet some other places, field intensity will be less. In such cases, this potential gradient concept, how do you take? So look at this. V is equal to ER. So VV is equal to minus E into ER for variable field. For variable field. Therefore, intensity of the electric field can be written as minus DV by VR. Minus DV by VR. Differentiation we have. Differentiation with respect to distance we have taken. So that becomes the intensity of electric field in the case of uh, non uniform fields. Usually, so when you deal with the electric dipoles like that, so the field due to dipole is non uniform. 
Okay, because if at all you take dipole, so here dipole, this is a positive charge and this is negative charge. So how will the electric current supposed to be from positive to negative? So in this direction, the electric field will be like this electric field gets a developer. So all the electric current supposed to be, if at all you observe, yet the charge, the density of this electric current supposed will be maximum. Yet the middle, okay, at the midpoint, so the density of this electric current supports will be minimum. So the electric field established by an electric dipole is not uniform. That is a non-uniform electric field. Okay, so this type of equations we will be using for dipoles. Understood? Okay, so which equation when we have to use, where we have to use it, we must have idea, we must have clarity. Then only you are doing problems that will be effective. Otherwise, uh, I will be doing it on the board, we will be done. Understood? Okay, not like that. You have to think on your own. You have to think on your own while solving the problems. But it depends. So, this is an important relation that we come across in the case of electrostatic potential. In the case of electrostatic potential. Okay. Now, another important concept we will come across that is uh, electrostatic potential energy. Electrostatic potential energy. We have so many applications uh, of that potential energy. If you observe carefully, even in the previous worksheet, mission 100 problems. Okay, so two, three problems. In two, three problems, uh, we have used the same concept, electrostatic potential. Spring problems. Elastic potential energy. Okay, so electrostatic potential energy, do you remember? Half K R square. Okay, 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q square by R minus 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q square by 2 R. Do you remember? Okay, like that, electrostatic potential. What do you mean by electrostatic potential energy? Electrostatic potential is different, potential energy is different. Okay, potential energy is the best. Okay, so what is the main difference between the two things? This is what we have to know. Look at this. I will be taking one plane or one space. Okay, so look at this. This is the situation I am going to be talking about. Right? This is the situation I am going to take up over here. So this is a plane, empty plane, no charges are present. No charges are present. Okay. I have given you two charges. You did not place the charges over here. Now, your task is uh, those two charges you need to introduce in this plane. Okay. Now, I have given you one charge that is a Q1. I have given you one more charge that is Q2. These two charges you are holding in your hands. Uh, sir, what should I do? Wait, wait. I will tell. When I tell, you need to put the charges in the points. I am telling you. Okay, so I have given you one point of here. Let's see. I have given you one more point of here. Yes. yes. Okay, now are there any charges over here? No. no. Empty plane, free space. Now I ask you to put the charge Q1 here. Okay, so for that. What is the work done by you? There will be no work. Because uh, this is completely empty. No. No other electrical influence. Completely empty. Okay. Without any effort. Without doing any work. You will be happily, nicely introducing this Q1 here. So Q1 you place on the electrons. Finish. The moment you place Q1 here. Q1 influences spreads. Q1 influences spreads. So Q1's electric field spreads over here. Now, according to the distance between A and B, at this point B, there will be some potential. Okay, so the potential there is BB. This is the potential BB. And how do you write this BB symbolically? Just like the previous equation. So that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q1 by R. Q1 by R. This is the distance R between A and B. So A and B. R between A and B. 
So what about the point B that we have taken? The point B is get some potential. The potential that B is written as r by 4 by epsilon naught q by r a b. Understood? Yes or no? Now take the charge q. Now you are placing the charge q to get b. Okay, now it is not so easy as you did in the previous case. In the previous case, without any work done, without any effort, without any difficulty, nicely, without any effort, you kept the charge q here. Because there was no electrical influence. Now electrical influence is there. Now there is some potential, okay, in the point B. Yes or no? So when you reach the point B, this potential VB will be opposing you. Even then you have to introduce Q2 over there. You should not keep quiet. Okay, for that you need to do some work. You need to apply some force. Are you getting my point? Okay, so what is the force and what is the work done over here? What is the work done over here? Huh. So this is here you see. So there will be some work done over here. Okay, so this is here. In this particular case, uh, so work done is equal to potential differential is work done divided by charge. That implies work done is equal to Q into V. Am I correct? Now, while introducing the charge Q2 at the point B, you will have to face the opposing force of this V. Therefore, work done is equal to so Q2 into the potential V. Did you understand? That much work we have to do. That much work we have to do. Okay, so W in this particular case is equal to Q2. So we will already have it here. So what is that? 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q1 by distance between the two charges given. So there is given. Right? So W is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. So this is Q1, Q2 by R between A and B. So this is our thing. Whatever the work which is done in this system, that work is a conservative work. Conservative forces. Whenever work is done out of conservative forces, that work done will be stored in the system as energy. That is called potential energy. Therefore, the potential energy in this particular case can be written as 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q1, Q2 by R, A, B. This is what potential energy is. And I should potential energy. Come on, please make a note of it. Okay. Yes. One more thing we have to keep in mind. So far, we have been discussing so much about the electrostatic potential and the electrostatic potential energy. Right? Okay. So, before this, the electrostatic field we have taken. And electrostatic force also we have taken. 
But in the case of electric force, electric field, they are vector quantities. But the electrostatic potential is a scalar quantity. 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 Okay. So scalar quantity means uh, while adding the potentials, uh, you need not follow any loss of vector addition. Just like parallelogram law, triangular law. So this type of discussion will not be there. How you are adding normal numbers uh, with positive, negative, like that we can add. That's all. Like that we can add. Got it? Right. So this is scalar quantity. Even potential energy is also scalar quantity. Even potential energy is also scalar quantity. Right? Okay. Now, based on this potential and all the things, I will make you work out some problems. Now, some problems you have to work out. Okay, conceptual problems. Conceptual problems. Some problems we need to take up now. Problems. So, what are the problems that we have to take up now? Look at this first one. Okay. So, two charges, two charges plus four microcoulombs and minus nine microcoulombs are placed ten centimeters apart. Okay, calculate the electrostatic potential Yes, the electrostatic potential Yes, come on, right? Yes, come on, come on. Yes, how much? 9 into 10 power 5. 9 into 10 power 5. Okay, 9 into 10 power 5. He says.
Yes, same thing. Okay. I will work out. Now there are two charges over here. One is plus four microcoulomb and the other charge is minus nine microcoulomb. Right? Now these two charges are placed in a distance of 10 centimeters from each other. Got it? See here, this is plus five or four microcoulomb. And this is minus nine microcoulomb. Now minus nine microcoulomb. So the distance between these two things is a 10 centimeter. Now exactly at any point, what is the potential? Okay, so exactly at any point means that this distance will be 5 centimeter, and again this distance will be 5 centimeter. 5 centimeter and 5 centimeter. Right? Now the electrostatic potential due to this. So that is this is A and this is B. Right? So the electrostatic potential due to this A is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. Okay. So the electrostatic potential due to this A. So this is 9 into 10 power 9. This R value plus 4 into 10 power minus 6 plus unit to right. Because it's a scalar. Okay, so in the case of electric field and electric force, you did not write plus so minus so like this. Okay, so instead of writing plus and minus, what did you write? What did you do over there? Along vector AB, along vector BC, like that we have written directions. Got it? But in this case, plus so minus you need to write. So 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 5 into 10 power minus 2 meter. Right? So when you simplify this, B A is equal to so this is 9 into, this is the plus, positive. Okay, so this is a 36 by time into 10 power, how much? This is 10 power 3. Okay, 10 power 5, volt. 36 by 5 into 10 power 5, volt. Right? Now, so potential due to this negative charge particle, which is minus 9 by we will be discussing now. So potential due to this V, how do you say? This is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R. So, definition, formula. So, potential due to this way is equal to 9 into 10 power 9, Q value, that is minus 9 microcoulomb. So, 10 power minus 6 coulomb divided by 5 into 10 power uh, minus 2. 5 into 10 power minus 2. Right? So, this is VB is equal to negative. This is 81 by 5 into 10 power. How much? Now the total potential at the midpoint. Total potential at the midpoint is a potential due to A plus potential due to B. So potential is equal to how much? 36 by 5 into 10 power 5 minus 81 by 5 into 10 power 5. Okay, so potential that is P is equal to right. So 10 power 5 by 5, you if you take a scan, 36 minus 81. 36 minus 81. So this is 5. Okay, so this is 4. In fact, negative. Negative. Understood? Okay, so for this again, P is equal to uh, so negative 9 into 10 power 5. So you will just need to also get it. So there is a negative potential. So in the case of potentials, we come across two things. One is a positive potential, the second one is a negative potential. Anything it could be. Understood? Negative potential. This is the answer. Negative potential. Negative potential. Okay, take down the next problem. Take down the next problem. Can I yes? Yes? Okay. We have infinite charges of 
equal magnitude q of place we have infinite number of charges we have infinite charges of equal magnitude q are placed on the x axis yet the distances get the distances two units or four units comma Eight units, comma sixteen units, and so on, and so on. Okay, so calculate the potential. Calculate the potential. Yes, the force. You will all the times. Okay, so due to all the charges, you need to calculate the electrostatic potential get the origin. Get the origin. Yes, come on, right? Just one minute. Yes, are you getting? Yes, calculator. How much? K two. K into two. K into Q. Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. That's what she says. How much? Same thing. Same thing. Saga. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> now, so let me explain the solution. So what is the given situation over here? There are n number of charges, infinite number of charges I have taken. But how are the charges? All the charges are identical. Means uh, the charges present on each and every particle is Q. Everything is plus Q, plus Q, plus Q, like this. But it, so how are the charges placed on the x-axis? Yet what distances? The first charge is get two units from the origin. 
the second charge is get four so units from the origin next eight units from the origin 16 units from the origin like this but okay. so the diagrammatic representation i am giving you over here so this is the x-axis over here this is origin so this is some um, ah, so this is here this is one this is two okay so this is two here one charge Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four. Here, four. One more charge. This is eight. One more charge. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One more charge. And right. So, like that, scale has been taken along the x axis. Okay, in those particular places, the charges are kept. Now, due to this Q, there will be some field. There will be some potential. Due to this Q, there will be some potential. Due to the third Q, there will be some potential. Ultimately, the total potential acting at the origin is nothing but the algebraic sum, not a vectorial sum. Okay, algebraic sum. Algebraic sum of all these individual potentials. Okay, so potential due to this is B1, I say. Okay, so this becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by 2. Next, potential due to the second charge, how do you write? So this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by 4, Q by 4, 2 square. Okay, so the potential due to the third charge. So this is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by h. That is 2q. Like that, the potential due to the fourth charge, how do you write? So 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by 16, 2 power 4, 2 power 4, and so on. Yet yeah, number of charges we can write like this. Now the total potential acting at the origin. So V is nothing but V1 plus V2 plus V3 and so on. Okay, so V is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught 10 Q by 2, 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by 2 square. So from all these things it comes, I will be taking Q by 4 by epsilon naught as common. Okay, Q by 4 by epsilon naught as common. So this becomes 1 by 2 plus this becomes 1 by 2 square plus this becomes 1 by 2 cube plus this becomes 1 by 2 power 4 and so on in number of terms. Yeah, number of terms. But the point, okay, so what will be this complete? Okay, the term which is within the brackets, ah, that will be in, that is in. What is this man? There is geometric progression. Okay, so in the geometric progression, the sum of n number of terms, infinite number of terms, sum of infinite number of terms will be what? Ah, sum of in infinite number of terms. Yes, infinity is equal to a by 1 minus r. Formula, geometric progression, mathematics. Okay, where a is the first term R is common ratio. Common ratio. In arithmetic progression, common difference. In geometric progression, common ratio. Okay, so in this particular case, A is equal to 1 by 2. And the common ratio R is equal to P2 by P1. P2 by P1, 1 by 4, by 1 by 2. Understood? Okay, so how much? So how much? This is R value. This is 1 by 2. R value, that is 1 by 2. Therefore, the sum of n, so infinite number of terms in GP, A, so that is 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2. Okay, so this is 1 by 2 by 1 by 2. So this is 1. Understood? So therefore, so in this particular case, B is equal to, so Q by 4 by epsilon mass. Very good. Correct answer. Calculator. Well done. Good. V is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. Okay. Like this. 
Now, in this regard, one more problem you make. One more problem you make. In the above problem, right like this, in the above problem, calculate the electric potential, calculate the electric potential yet the origin calculate the electric potential yet the origin when the alternative charges alternate charges when alternate charges are of opposite sign when the alternate charges are of opposite sign opposite sign Okay, can you write now? Alternates. The things different you take the charge at to two. Okay, positive. Next one will be negative. That next one will be positive, like this. In that way. You see, now the fan, how heavily the fan is moving. What do we call it? How heavily now uh, it is gaining up some angular velocity. What do we call that? Some sound also came in the beginning. What do we call that? That is called a rotational inertia. That is called a rotational inertia. Okay, that is the best example. Okay. Ah. Yes. Ah. K Q by six. K Q by six means. In the first so one by four by three, you can tell you. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Come on, verify. Same thing. 
Different kan? Kalau seorang sih. Ayo One by four by epsilon mass. Two by two by three. Two by three. Okay. Ah. Yes. Any more answers? Right, man. Not simply seeing the board. Huh? Which one? Q by 6 are, Q by 3 are. Q by 3, you got. Q by 3. What's that? Q by 3. Yes. Okay, so let me check out the answer. Now, you can just see. The problem is the ordinary charges are taken as opposite sign. Alternate charges are of opposite sign. Okay, so the things the first one is positive, the second one is negative. Why the some some stone is coming? Huh? From last bench? Huh? So from tomorrow onwards, what you have to do is uh, that bench has to be here. Quite in front of me, there's a you have a switch. Understood? See this again my excuses. Like that, alternate charges are to be taken as of opposite signs. Now, so this is V1. V1 is equal to how much? Ah, 1 by 4 pi epsilon notch plus Q means this is positive. Q by three. Next, so potential V2 is equal to how much? 1 by 4 pi epsilon notch minus Q. So this is minus. By two straight. Next, so the third potential is what? This is positive. One by four by epsilon notch two by two q. Next, the fourth potential becomes what? Minus one by four by epsilon notch two by two power four. Like that. Like that. As many charges as possible we can write. Got it? Now, the total potential with the origin. Is written as V1 plus V2 plus V4 and so on. So the total potential in this case, Q by 4 pi epsilon naught, you put on you take it as common. So Q by 4 pi epsilon naught, you take this one as common. Okay, so this becomes 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube minus 1 by 2 power 4 plus and so on. So this is how the term is obtained within the brackets. Now again, we can see that this is in geometric position. So the sum of the n number of terms in this particular case, in fact, number of terms, a by one minus r, a by one minus r, a by one minus r. So this is one by two divided by one minus r. One Okay, plus second term is okay. So negative now, plus second term is negative. Right? So yes, infinity is equal to 1 by 2 by 3 by 2. So this becomes 1 by 2. That becomes the 1 by 3. Therefore, so the total potential in this particular case is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon notch into 1 by 3. Or you can write as q by 12 pi epsilon. 12 pi epsilon naught. Okay? Right. So this is the way how we have to work out the problem. So take down the next problem. Yes, ah, three identical charges. Three identical charges of magnitude plus Q. Three identical charges of magnitude plus Q are placed at the vertical.
consists of an equilateral triangle. Get the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side length of side length a small a side length a small a. First of all, calculate the potential at the centroid. Calculate the potential at the centroid. Calculate. The potential yet the centroid. Yes, come on, come on, one minute. Everybody has to try. Yes, how much? 9 Q. 9 Q. 9 Q by? Huh. 9 Q by 4 by epsilon notch A square. One more answer on time. 4 by epsilon notch root 3. Okay, very good. Yes, different different answers means you are thinking. Nice, good effort. Yes, any more answers, please? Different. Not the one. Ah. Ah, Sachin is changing his opinion. Three root three. Four five epsilon notch. But you don't this not. You are not going to change your opinion. Root three by eight. Okay. Three root three by eight. Yours. Yes. Come on. Which one? This one. This one. This one. Yes. Okay. Right. Now let me check which is correct. Right. Now the given situation is uh, there are three identical charges. But it, so the magnitude of each charge has been given as plus two. Now what's happening over here? All these three charges are placed near the vertices of the triangle. All these three charges are placed at the vertices of the equilateral triangle. So look at this here, you see the equilateral triangle I am doing over here like this. The side length is A, side length is A, side length is A. So this is A and this is B and this is C. Here plus Q is placed, even here plus Q is placed, even here plus Q is placed. Centroid, what do you mean by centroid? So there is a point of concurrence of all the three mediums. 
point of congruence of all the three medians over here like this. So this becomes the centroid. Now due to these three charges configuration, the total charge, the total electrostatic field potential, you need to calculate over here. So this will exhibit some potential over here. This will exhibit some potential over here. This will exhibit some potential over here. But if, so potential due to A, so V A is equal to how much? So this becomes a one by four by epsilon naught uh, plus Q by A G. And what is the length A G? A by root three. So potential due to A is equal to one by four by epsilon naught A G is one by root three. So this is uh, A by root three. So root three Q by Okay, so next to potential we see. Huh. So this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon notch, same values that is root 3 q by e. Understood? So potential yet here, yeah, that's a due to a. At this point, we have calculated. Potential due to this, we have calculated. Okay, so the resultant of these two will be in which direction? <laughs> the resultant will be in which direction? Still, you are thinking immediately you have to tell what direction star potential is a scalar quantity. No, yes or no? Okay, there will be no direction, there will be no parallel from now. Understood? Okay, now, so this is here potential due to this, potential due to this. Okay, so this is B, B, B is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught given. So, what is the total potential? Mayo, what is the total potential? Ah, then, what will be the value? Ah, 3 into 1 by 4 by epsilon naught root 3 q by a. So, that is what the total potential 3 root 3 q by 4 by epsilon naught a. So this is what the total potential at the center. Hmm? How come this is given to three man? Mayor, you didn't get. Hmm. If everything I do, what will you do, sir, on the board? Huh? Yes or no? If I do something, if you have to do something. Yes or no? This is a teamwork. You only said no. In the beginning, teamwork. Teamwork means, okay, if you give some problem, okay, some part we will do, some part we will do. Share it. Yes or no? Right? Okay. Yes or no? Okay. If you give me some chocolate, sir. Okay. So, so you will be sharing now. Uh, so I will be eating one. You will be eating okay, one. Like this. You will be sharing. What do you share? Or you will be able to eat it? No. You will share. Like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So 3 root 3 q by 4 by epsilon not e. So this is what the total potential is. The total potential is okay. So, this is like this, we need to adapt the problems. Okay, now so I will be going to the next concept. I will be going to the next concept that is electric dipole. Electric dipole. What is the time now? 8 9. 8 7. Okay, still 10 is there. Go on, energy. Yes, is over. Can we continue till day 30? Okay, yes. Yes, I'm over. Some no sound is being heard. Continue. Okay, right. So, electric typo. Electric typo. Okay, so what do you mean by electric typo of here? This is what we need to calculate of here. So, electric typo. Same definition for typo we will be taking here. But it is same definition for dipole. So what is that? The dipole is nothing but the combination of two equal and opposite charges taken at a finite distance, taken at a very small distance. That combination of two charges can be taken as electric dipole. See electric dipole over here. So this is minus q and plus q I will be taking. So these two charges are separated by a small distance, very small distance. Usually. The distance between the two charges of electric dipole is uh, symbolically represented as 2L. Why 2L? Because we will be measuring all the distances from dipole 
which is from the center of the light. Okay, so since you are going to measure from the center of the light pole, so this distance is taken as L and this distance is taken as L conveniently. But it, so that's why, so the distance between the two so charges of the dipole is taken as 2L. That can be taken as length of dipole also. Sometimes in some problems you will come across as length of dipole. Length of dipole. But it, now in this regard, dipole moment you will come across. Dipole moment. Dipole moment. So what do you mean by dipole moment? That is symbolically represented as P. The dipole moment is nothing but the product of the magnitude of the charge and the distance between them. Okay, so there is a dipole moment, but dipole moment is a vector. Term. Remember, dipole moment is a vector. Okay, so vector representation we have to give now. So here, so this is vector P over here. This is Q into two L. What about the distance between the two charges that you are going to take up? In fact, distance is a scalar. Okay, so we need to apply some direction. We need to employ some direction for that to you. Okay, so better to you this. So we need to apply some direction in the sense in what direction usually do we take? From negative to positive. Okay, okay so the dipole moment direction is always from negative to positive, which is against the field direction. The electric field is from positive to negative, whereas electric dipole moment is from negative to positive. From negative to positive. Negative to positive. But if it, so this is what we have to keep in mind. Okay. Now what are we going to do with this dipole? Why have I taken this dipole? By means of this dipole, we will be estimating the potential. So far, due to a point charge we have taken. What about 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r? That formula we were using. Okay, so that is because of only a single point charge. Now the combination of two charges we will be taking together to get pass. But it, so electrostatic potential due to an electric dipole. This is what we have to keep today from dipole. That's a potential due to an electric dipole. Potential. Potential. Due to an electric dipole, potential due to an electric dipole, potential due to an electric dipole. Okay, so what is the potential due to an electric dipole? So, this is what we have to think of now. This is what we have to think of. So, look at this here you see. So, this is the negative charge of here, and this is the positive charge of here. The distance between these two charges is written as 2L. Okay, this is the midpoint of this dipole. Now, as usual, so we will be getting two things. One is uh, the axis. The axis means uh, that is the line passing through these two charges. This is one axis. Okay, so usually, what do we call this one? So, this is called axial line. This is called axial line. This is called the axial line. Understood? Okay, now on this axial line, I will be taking one point over here. So let the point be C. So this is A and this is B. Right? Now, whatever the point C we have taken, usually the distance has to be taken from the center of the dipole. C, from the center of the dipole, you need to calculate the distance. Let this be in a distance S. R in a distance R, you take. Yeah, the distance r. Now, what will be the potential due to this? This minus q will contribute some potential at c. Even this plus q also will contribute some potential at c. The sum of these two potentials you need to calculate. Potential due to minus q is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q by a c. That means in this combination, this minus q alone, I will be talking. Next plus q alone, we have to talk. Next combination, we have to go back. Okay, so this is minus q by ac. So potential due to this minus q, how do you write? So this becomes 1 by 4 by epsilon naught minus q by ac. What is ac? R plus L. 
सौ बीसवीं सी ए माइनस क्यू बाई आर प्लस माइनस क्यू बाई आर प्लस ओके नाउ पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू दिस प्लस क्यू हाउ से वी डू कैलकुलेट पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू दिस प्लस क्यू ओके सो व्हाट इस एक्स वन बाइन फोर पाइ एप्सिलॉन नॉट्स दिस इस पॉसिबल सॉल्स दिस इस इस राइट नाउ पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू दिस प्लस क्यू इस इस तो वन बाइन फोर पाइ एप्सिलॉन नॉट्स व्हिच इस पॉसिबल व्हिच इस पॉसिबल दिस इ R minus here. Now algebraic sum of these two potentials you need to take. Okay, so V is equal to V minus Q plus V plus Q. Okay, so algebraic sum V is equal to V due to minus Q plus V due to plus Q. So this potential is equal to V due to minus Q. How much? This is minus Q by 4 pi epsilon naught due to R plus Q. Plus q by four pi epsilon naught into r minus n. Okay, so how to see the base? V is equal to q by four pi epsilon naught. Take as common one by r plus n minus one by r minus n. So v is equal to q by Four pi epsilon naught. This is R minus L minus R minus L divided by R square minus L square. These two things will get cancelled out. V is equal to minus Q into two L divided by four pi epsilon naught R square minus L square. Q into two L is nothing but delta moment minus P by 4 pi epsilon naught r square minus l square. Okay, so that is one of the formulae that we are going to use while solving the problems. But sometimes we will be taking a special case. And what is the special case that we are going to take at? What about the distance r that we have taken? Sometimes r will be larger, larger than l. Okay, so special case in this particular case. Special case. Okay, so when R is far greater than L, when R is far greater than L, then what do you say? Ah, this R square minus L square can approximately be taken as R square. Therefore, electrostatic potential. So this is P by four pi epsilon naught R square. So this is what the formula that we are using. In this regard, there is two equations you need to remember. Okay, so that completely depends upon the comparison of the two distances. One is R and the second one is L. Okay, so you have to go for this equation V is equal to P by 4 pi epsilon naught R square only when R is far greater than L. Understood? So, whenever the two distances are even very close, then you should not use that one. Remember, there is a condition. There is a condition. Okay, please make another pitch. Come on, come on, make it faster. What do you Negative, negative potential. Negative sign will be minus. So that's what you are thinking. Okay, negative sign will be there minus. But there's a combined potential negative can it be yes. That completely depends upon the alignment. And if at all you take plus q over here, minus q over there, then you will be doing this. Don't think that time. Okay, so potential at a point on the axial line due to an electric dipole is always negative law. Very good. Okay, that you can write later. Yes, homework. Take plus q over here, minus q over here. You follow the same thing, then you will be getting positive. Understood? So ultimately, what about the potential that you are going to get? That potential could be positive one or negative one. Anything. 
Minus two by four by epsilon naught half square. Ah, here. Okay. So this is half square. So half square plus half square. Then what happens? Negative half this. Then it becomes this. Then it becomes this. Okay. Now then plus one. Okay. Plus one. And for all you take plus q here, minus q over there, then negative, complete negative. Complete negative will come. And it should be this. Okay, so this is the way how we have to work out. Now, I'm still there to say five minutes. Huh? Okay, all right, this is already. Mine has come to the watch. Okay, now let's say here, e the line. What do you mean by e put the line? So that is a line perpendicular to the axis passing through the center of the waveform. So what will be the potential on the equatorial line at any point? Zero. Come on, come on, this is your edge. Electrostatic potential on the equatorial line. Ah, directly the your edge. No problem. So you need not do it. Okay. You need not show it. Electrostatic potential due to an electric dipole. Yet any point on the equatorial line is a zero. Yet any point on the equatorial line is a zero. Electrostatic potential due to <coughs> an electric dipole. Yet a point on Equatorial line, get a point on equatorial line is equal to zero. Okay, so because of this, a positive potential will come, negative potential will come, get equal distances. When you take the total, the sum of those two potentials, it will be zero. Okay, now one more situation, which is the last situation in this discussion, right? So, what is that then? The electrostatic potential due to the electric dipole we will be taking not on the axial line, not on the equatorial line, yet any point. Yet any point. Okay, so look at this. This is the situation I am giving you. So this is a negative Q, right? So this is plus Q. The distance between these two charges is given as 2L. 2L is the distance between these two charges. Okay, so if you don't take this, this becomes the axial line. Already axial line field we have discussed before this concept. This is the center of this electric dipole. Now what about the line which is passing through the center? So that can be taken as equatorial line. This becomes the center of the dipole. Now I will be taking a particular point of the like this. So this is yet A, this is yet B, and this is yet C. Now, this is the distance of This is making an angle theta with the axis of the way. Okay, now, so due to this directed therefore, we have point C, what will be the potential? 2p cos theta by? 2p cos theta by? Ah. Ah. Here potential potential in this particular case will become P cos P. Four pi epsilon notch. Okay, pause. Okay, so what did you say? Two p. Understood? Okay, so p cos theta by four pi epsilon notch r square. 
So this will be the equation. That will be the equation. But it, but it, and again from this equation, you will come across the previous two. And if at all the point C is taken on the axial line, then theta will become what? Zero. When theta becomes zero, that zero, if you substitute it in this equation, V is equal to P cross zero by R, R square. Got it? So what is that? The axial field. So the axial potential. Now, so if at all, so the point C lies on the equatorial line exactly. So what about this theta that we are going to take up? That will be 90 degrees. So P cos 90 by 4 pi epsilon naught R square. So cos 90 is zero. Cos 90 is zero. But so in the play, so there is a, this is the combined equation. So instead of remembering the above previous two cases, uh, if you remember this, uh, you can apply effectively while solving the problems. Okay, P cos theta by or the other sum, 4 pi epsilon naught or square. So mod of is a 25. Okay, so we will conclude the class. Okay, so we will conclude the class. Right? So the sort based on this numerical and other things we have to do it. Okay? So tomorrow we will continue.